Hi, Maria. How are you? Hello, Samina. How are you? I'm good. very well, thank you. You good? Thank you for joining me today. So, uh, Maria, you're going to be doing a workshop at Awaken the Goddess in the summer. So tell me a bit about um, the workshop that you're going to do. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to joining with the female presence during your wonderful event and to reawaken the natural ability of connect to ourselves. So during the workshop, we're going to be working with the energy, primarily with our hands, with our feeling, with our intuition, and we're going to connect to our true inner essence that we all have inside of us. Because every female, every being is just so beautiful inside. We already have all the beautiful powers within. We can already create, we can sing, we can dance, we have all those abilities. And sometimes during life we have difficult situations when maybe some of these flows may be blocked, maybe we don't feel good enough about expressing ourselves. Yeah. But if we connect with the energy, we connect with our inner power, then we can release this flow, and then we can learn to see the beauty in ourselves and in each other. So it will be a very intuitive workshop, uh, a very beautiful workshop, so it will be intending for us to connect to our true divine essence. And then every one of you can take it in your own way, and you will see that your own gift is being opened up, that you see how your life purpose is manifesting in your life, and you also learn how to see the goodness in other people. So we will oh, wow. empower all of us in the group to feel really good during that experience. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love the sound of that. So um, tell me, what's your background? What sort of work do you normally do? Okay, so uh, my spiritual journey started about seven years ago when I had a very strong feeling that I need to move into that direction. And the feeling was so overwhelming that I started researching and finding different ways of learning spirituality and I was very lucky and blessed to find the work of Dolores Cannon. Uh, this is a hypnotherapist who is not with us any longer but she was a very great person who invented a technique called quantum healing hypnosis therapy okay. and this is a technique which involves past life regression and communication with the subconscious. So during this session we go to a very special place deep inside of us. It's a very profound healing session when the person is using images and deep relaxation. And we're finding a past life, a past experiences, which can help somehow the person in the present. So we find some key for the present moment in their life. And then we connect with the subconscious and we give healing if it's appropriate and we learn some guidance for that person. So this is what I've been doing intensely for the past uh, seven years, working with uh, plant healing hypnosis. That's one part of my life, and the other part of my life is energy healing. So since 2010 I became a Reiki healer, and then a Reiki master, and I love working with the energy. <laughs> I'm talking to the trees, so I learned the ways how we can communicate through our hand with the world around, so how we can actually touch different objects and read their energy. Oh, wow. Because every object has its own frequency mm. and they're talking, they have those invisible mouths uh, and they're always communicating with us. So when we touch crystals, when we touch different uh, pictures, for example, art, when we, touch, when we touch the trees, when we touch buildings, we can learn about the history, about the special vibration. And I just love doing this work and I love teaching people how to do that too. And also touch people's hands and read the energy from the hand. This way you can think why this person is so special, what gifts they have, yeah. how they can help the world and themselves. It's, it's the whole ocean of knowledge. <laughs> so this is a and I also run my workshops every week in London. So we do a special technique of working with energy. We create with our hands different shapes and colors and structures and we send it to each other. It's very magical. It's very uplifting and very simple. We go back to the simplicity of energy work and it's beautiful. Yeah. So can anyone feel energy? Because I mean I, I have periods where I feel it and then others where I mostly maybe because of my ego because I'm thinking oh I can't do that. You know, but then I, I, I can't feel it at all. It's the majority of the time I can't feel it. So uh, what would you say to someone who said that oh, I really want to feel energy but I can't <laughs> first of all I say you can do it. You've got the head, you've got the power, you've been born a beautiful being. 
you've been born with the magical gift of feeling. We all have it. Another thing is that sometimes we pay attention to other things. We pay attention more to the mind, more to the doubts, more to the analytical part of ourselves, which can actually move us to a different direction. It's also a direction, but the feeling is more a way of moving forward. And I can say that the feeling, the energy that you get, it doesn't have to be very loud. It doesn't have to be very vivid. Some people have the ability to visualize vividly and to see clearly and to feel. Others may just have a slight sensation, like a tiny little prompt. And that's what you need to listen to and what you need to trust. It doesn't have to be very big in the beginning. You just take those little tiny, tiny motions and steps that come to you. Maybe there is a little flicker in your head. Maybe you feel a bit more positive touching you and all feeling the energy of something. Or maybe, on the other hand, you feel a bit more down. Uh, you pay attention to the feeling here and trust it. Really trust yourself, what you're doing at this moment, and always say, I'm doing really well. Always <laughs> pray yourself on that. Because for that, more information will come. I know it from my hypnotherapy work, that when we open the door and we believe, and we say, yes, I'm doing really well, it's coming. It's really coming. Yeah. It's that simple. So believe and know you are the wonderful being, you can do this. Okay, so tell me about your workshops. You have these every week, and they are they for complete beginners or people who are a bit more advanced? Well, for both, actually. They're for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Dogs and animals, everybody can come. So people <laughs> have learned already energy healing. We have uh, those people, we have people who do Reiki, other types of healing. But we have also people who have never done that. People who are completely new, but they felt drawn to, to learn more about energy. And what we practice is really simple. Just activate the hands, we start feeling our own energy, and then we allow our intuition to show us what our hands have. So our hands start to talk, and our hands start to take us on a journey. And people really have strong experiences. They can all see, they can all imagine, because on this level, it's like children. We have imagination. And once we turn to that, then we connect more to our intuition. Yeah. Then of course it's healing because then we direct this energy to us. Then we cleanse our aura, we spread the energy through the body, we make ourselves feel better. We always do guided meditation with healing, big guided meditation which people find very useful. And then we work with each other. So we connect to each other, we talk through the hands, we talk with the eyes, we invent all other different types of communication and sharing love with each other, which is very pleasant. Okay, great. And um, where do you have these workshops usually? So we do them in Kensington. It's near Gloucester Road Tube Station, very, very close okay. to the station, very comfortable. It's, it's like a church um, space, which is a kindergarten in the daytime. In the okay. evening, it's a healing energy workshop. So, oh, so quite easy yeah. for people to get to then, really. Yeah, okay. So, uh, one other thing I wanted to ask. So, so you work with energy, but tell me, what's the benefit of people becoming more aware of energy? Why would someone do that? <laughs> Beautiful. It's kind of another language that you learn to use. At the moment, we just use the verbal language, and we use the mind a lot. We assess things as they are. When we work with energy, we learn to feel. We learn to be very intuitive, and we know what is good for us. So imagine that energy is all that exists around us, and we're swimming in the sea of energy everywhere. When we become aware of how the energy talks, how the tree talks, how the people talk energetically, how objects talk, we can then choose what is better for us. We go to a supermarket and we feel what type of food is good for us intuitively. We don't have to think anymore. We know which energy just smiles at us and makes our body feel better. We look at people and we feel what person is drawing us the most. We know, it's like, ah, oh, I have a connection with this person. I would like to talk more to them. And also we can learn to express our feelings without the words, just by looking at the person, just by feeling, just by holding their hand. We can improve our relationships in our life. Mm -hmm. And also the connection with our own body. We start feeling the energy of our body, so we know what our body is trying to tell us, how different organs if one organ has a problem, for example, we can hear and ask, what's wrong with you? What do you want to know? <laughs> wow. And then the organ can explain. So we become the masters of our life. It's, it's another dimension, which is very open and actually very simple. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice, that sounds really good. I should come to some of your workshops, I think. <laughs> so Maria, did you could you always feel energy? Was this always part of your life? I know you said you started seven years ago, but did you was there something before? I guess I, I always was attuned. I was not just aware of what it was. I always felt very sensitive. Like I could pick up people's thoughts and energies and it will go to extreme. Sometimes I'll feel really happy, sometimes I'll feel so upset. Mm. And I couldn't understand why and I could always feel energies too much in the busy spaces when there are lots of people I would get very drained and I could never understand. Before I started working with it, I thought it was my imagination. I thought I was strange. But yes, I, I had it. But it came into the light of awareness when I started learning that actually other people know that too. And people already develop them and I can learn mm -hmm. them. So and that only confirms that many, many people have it already since they were born. As babies, we talk through the eyes, we talk through energy with our mother. Yeah. So we already know how to express our intuition. It's just then we get a little bit distracted in the world. We go to school, we go to university, we start mm. working, and uh, we lose it. Yeah. But the different side is still have it, so it's just remember, reconnecting with that. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Maria, thank you so much for, for sharing this with me and for giving people a bit more information about what you do. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having you there on the day. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to connecting to everybody. We're already on. <laughs> <laughs> Great.